culture becomes the symbol for the drugs themselves, the caduceus. And now we can return to the deity portrayed in this stance and get an entirely new perspective. It should be totally clear why this posture or this stance is so important. We see Krishna doing it, the goddess doing it, the caduceus, all standing with this posture, all standing like the Amanita mushroom. As this deity is wearing only a draping around his waist and thorns on his head. Getting high, or the most high as we call God, is about climbing the cosmic ladder to Godhead, and ladders predominate in alchemy and mysticism. Jacob rests his head on some sort of a stone and has dreams of a ladder to heaven. In Christianity, in Freemasonry, even the tale of Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack climbs a vine to the heavens or this cosmic spiral ladder to Godhead and what does he find there? The golden eggs. The golden eggs of alchemy. The Amanita muscaria mushroom. Real gold is only a materialistic item that will get you nowhere in the afterlife. But this shamanic out-of-body experience is preparation for actual death. It's training for that crossover period from this reality into whatever is our next reality. And here is Mithra standing on top of this cosmic egg or the primordial mound. And he has an entwined serpent around his body making the caduceus and symbolizing drugs. Mithra is the drug itself, the mushroom. The Amanita muscaria mushroom is also born from a primordial mound. Mithra has tail feathers like those that the mushroom does, the annulus, and he also has wings atop his shoulders representing the upturned gills of the mushroom. Continuing with the symbolism of the mushroom, we find the divine hermaphrodite, polar opposites combined into one entity, usually male and female, with wings upon its back. And it's this personified dualistic deity that leads us into the rebus or the re-re. Two things. Oftentimes the rebus will be seen with a cup in one hand and a serpent or an Ouroboros in the other. It is standing upon Mercury and Venus with serpents in the cup representing the poison or the drugs contained in the cup. The medicine. The Amanita muscaria mushroom is seen as both male and female sex organs of its personified deity. Here you can see the stalk of the mushroom penetrating the cap in the act of divine coitus. The male and female portions of the mushroom consist of a breast and a yoni for the female and a single testicle and penis for the male. By splitting the mushroom open in its earlier growth stages, the act of sex is blatant. All that is missing are the bodies of the god and goddess. In the Hindu myth, Shiva is a hermaphrodite. Like the mushroom, Shiva has a penis, one testicle, and a breast. In the book of Genesis, Eve was created from the rib of Adam. Actually, at this point, Adam is a hermaphrodite. Male and female, he created them and blessed them, and he called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Adam, being male, represents the mushroom in its earlier phallic-like growth stages. While Eve, the female, is the womb-like opening of the gills, 
The reverse side, the single breast of the cap, is literally the eave of the mushroom. When the Amanita's cap separates to form the eave or canopy, it figuratively pulls a rib out of the stalk or stipe of the mushroom. The mushroom's universal veil tears away from the ribs and drops down forming a skirt or apron. The eave of the mushroom appears to be born from the rib or from the side of the male portion of the mushroom. Because this is the portion of the mushroom that is most often consumed, this is also the portion of the mushroom that provides enlightenment. The female provides enlightenment and the female comes from the rib of the male. But there is another story in the Bible of enlightenment coming from the side of man. Not only is Eve born of the rib of Adam, but Jesus hanging on the cross is lanced in the rib and out of his side comes the blood that is collected into the Holy Grail. So out of the rib comes the enlightenment once again. The Canterbury Psalter from 1147 has 12 segments representing the 12 signs of the zodiac. Each segment is a representation from the different parts of the creation of the world epic described in the book of Genesis. In the top right segment we see Jesus, or God, as the Lord of magical plants. The red mushroom on the right is clearly the Amanita muscaria. The Amanita is said to produce the quickening of the spirit. The next one is obviously another mushroom, but it is blue. This indicates psilocybe mushrooms, which are said to open the third eye. Next may be a depiction of a Syrian rue pod, shaped as a mushroom, which happens to match this in color as well as a similar structure. Syrian rue, or Paganum harmala, is known to increase the effects of other compounds and also possesses other qualities. On the left is a depiction of an opium poppy, also shaped as a mushroom, and due to the euphoria it induces, it helps one to relax enough to let go in order to fully experience the visionary state. It helps one withstand the intense experience without the constant urge to make it stop, which is not an option, by the way. Another panel depicts the scene in the Garden of Eden with the serpent. Notice that the serpent has the entwined staff, which is actually the stem of a mushroom. It looks a bit like the Amanita muscaria, although it does appear to depict some type of psilocybe mushroom, or other types of mushrooms as well. At the very top of the center tree, or serpent entwined mushroom, may be seen little mushrooms inside the cap. This is an alchemical depiction by Nicholas Flamel of a woman clothed in the sun. She has a crown of stars on her head and she is pregnant. She has the wings of eagles on her back and she is standing on a crescent moon. To her right is a leviathan-like serpent with seven heads and it is sweeping the stars out of the sky with its tail. On the left is an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. She is the Mexican equivalent of the Catholic Virgin. Notice that she too is clothed with the sun. The crescent moon is below her. Below that is a leviathan-like serpent with the seven heads. The stars that the leviathan was sweeping out of the sky in the alchemical image are now hidden in the clothing of the goddess. And we have shown where some of the symbolism comes from in the heavens, but let's take a deeper look into this icon, Our Lady of Guadalupe. The story of the woman and the dragon is found in the book of Revelation, Revelation 12, where it reads, A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with a moon under her feet and a crown of stars on her head. She was pregnant and she cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. And then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his heads. His tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. 
The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth, so 